Good afternoon, Yaffle Juice. As most of you may know, today is Friday, February 27th. My name is Rachel, and this is my video for the week. All right, so two things. Number one, um, good news, I got a new car. Yay, applause. Um, it is a 2005 Dodge Stratus. It's silver. Insert picture here. Um, and uh, it's pretty awesome. We got it today. I wanted to get a Jeep, but then when we went to the place to buy it, it had already been taken. So there goes that. Next on the agenda, um, the topic for the week was talking about an invention or something. So I'm going to talk about wine coolers. Now, one of my best friends, Mr. Wikipedia, states that wine coolers were pretty much invented in the early 1980s. Um, people would make them at home. Uh, it's kind of like a mixture between, I guess, wine and fruit juice and then like carbonated water or like a carbonated beverage of some kind and sugar. Um, I'm currently drinking pina colada because pina coladas are awesome and wine coolers are awesome. So you mix the two and it's like, well, bam, magic. Um, and um, yeah, it's just really tasty. And my mom wanted me to say that... Um, they're also great with a snack, which is, this is the Pringles Restaurant Cravers Onion Blossom. I haven't had any yet, but she says she already ate half of them. They're pretty good, I guess. Um, anyway, so yeah, then um, it says, traditionally, being in the 1980s, um, they've been bottled and sold by commercial distributors, especially in areas where um, uh, having lower alcohol content is kind of a way to like surpass um, a lot of the... Uh, alcohol laws in like small counties um I don't know there's not a whole lot to say other than the fact that it's really tasty it was made in the 80s originally now um in the United States I guess in like it says 1991 the tax on it or the tax on wine quintupled and so this was um then substituted instead of being made with wine it was made with some kind of malt something or another um I don't know, it's a fun drink, and I know I'm not technically 21, but it's not like it's, like I'm drinking vodka, so whatever. Um, close enough. Um, let's see, is there anything interesting? It says, um, Germany, in Germany, wine coolers became popular in 2004 when the German government imposed an extra duty on Alcopops which I really don't know what that is, um, of 0.8 to 0.9 euro per bottle. Um, to circumvent higher taxation, some German producers have switched to wine coolers, which are being marketed the same way as Alcopops, which I'm guessing is just like a German wine cooler. Um, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to really make this video too long, so I decided to make something, to pick something really simple. Wine coolers, uber tasty all that jazz, um, I don't know, oh yeah, there's different flavors, there's like every flavor you could possibly think of, like just think of it as candy, like liquid candy with a little bit of alcohol in it, um, personally, I like anything with raspberry, pina colada obviously is awesome, um, I know there's a black cherry something or another, the company that I'm drinking right now is Bartles and James, <laughs> B and J, um, I guess I could look up information on bottles and rooms. Hmm. Welcome to Bottles and James. Please enter your birthday. Let's say I was born in 74. Um, oh, and this page cannot be found. Even better. So I guess the website's down, but I was going to show you information about it. My hair is kind of really depressing right now. Ignore me. Nutritional value? Not so much. Um... The ingredients aren't even on here. Um, it contains sulfites, yellow number five, four percent alcohol, um, and you can get a refund in Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Iowa, Maryland, um, New York, Oregon, Vermont, and Massachusetts, and Michigan, and California. Cash refund in California. What do you mean? Bo bottle, deposits. bottle deposits. My mom says, I don't know. That's why it costs so much to buy things 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just I'm not a huge fan of hard liquor or beer. So this is a good in-between. Because wine can be kind of gross sometimes, too. So, yeah. That was my video. Um, giddy up the apple juice.